Welcome, Joe. Started the game and find yourself lost? Can't find a gun? Can't find that damn saw so you can start cutting logs and build? Heck, or even maybe you got stuck in this store shelf, unable to move and rage quit. I'm going to walk you through how to fix all of these concerns and problems so that you can enjoy this cool game. Jaws of Extinction is a survival, zombie building and crafting game which has been released into early access during 2021. I have done a quick cover of it previously during the actual launch and I will link this first look preview in the description if you want to get an overview of that. Today I'm going to focus really on the beginner getting into the game, how to start and progress into the world of Jaws of Extinction. There will be some minor spoilers for the initial quests and important locations as some of these are not super self-evident as I discovered during my recent stream of the game. Fear not, I will not be giving a ton away, just enough to get a solid handle on the game. If you're interested in buying the game, I do have a link in the description below of the video for the Epic website and my Epic Creator tag if you want to support the channel. Also, I hope you enjoyed the video enough to consider infecting that thumbs up and like the video and maybe subscribing to boot. So, the things I will go through is... The Basic Beginner Quests How to get your first gun and ammo How to get started with the building and a few extra tips in case you have some problems First off, there is a beginner story quest you have to get through in order to start your journey. Just get out of the medical halls and talk to the sheriff right in front and he'll give you a couple of errands to run, giving you some basic gear as well as a settlement pass so you can actually get out of the gate. The first is to wash yourself off in your clothes which is just left as you come out of the medical hall and across the road. Then there's the delivering a bag which you grab from another NPC and then finally go check with the settlement leader where you get your settlement pass. You might also want to take a quick ride as you leave the medical hall and go through the quick tutorial on movement which shows you how to actually move through the world using C to crouch, space to jump and climb up, running and jumping, crouching to stealth, L for the flashlight and how to use ladders. As you go through the town, there will also be a couple of pop-ups where the game goes through, for instance, how the infected work, how you do crafting and building, how to loot, how to harvest, how to scavenge for resources, and so on. As they pop up, I would urge you to read through as there are some really useful tidbits in there. My personal favorite is the vicinity search, where if you are a meter or two from a loot container, you can just open your backpack and it'll say vicinity search. So you don't have to specifically look and target the loot item in order to grab the loot. I wish more games had something like this. So with that out of the way, let's look at getting a gun. This is fairly easy. As you leave the compound, the sheriff will raid you and direct you to his police cruiser. It's easy enough to just follow the road and you will end up at the cruiser. At the back window, there is a pistol and some ammo you can pick up. Make sure you grab it. I actually missed it the first time I was playing. While it's just about 30 rounds, that will help you immensely for the next steps of this quest, which will reward you with a couple of hundred more rounds and it's definitely worth completing. So it will first tell you to go to three locations to find the key to his house. Go around, search for the key, which in my case was in the bus. Vicinity search is super useful here. Then you'll be directed to go to his house and complete another series of tasks. One is to get into the basement where you have to fix the pipe and then pump out the water. The wrench, in order to fix the pipe, is in one of multiple locations. So go looking for it and the garages. It'll be normal on the tool workbenches. It can be a little bit hard to find for an untrained eye like mine. It will be there. Go take it, fix the pipe. Then you need to go find the pump, which apparently can bug out a bit and not show all the locations. In my case, the pump was at the nearby 7-Eleven, but that didn't show up as a location for me to search. That's really annoying, and I might never have found it if one of the Joe teams wasn't helping me out. But with that, I found it, and then I went to install it. You go 
grab some fuel. And how do you get the fuel? Well, you need to search out these jerry cans, the fuel cans, and go up to vehicles to try to just siphon some fuel. Fuel is quite heavy though, so don't go carrying around everywhere. Just drop it there at the building. Once you got it, go back to the pump and start it. Caution! Starting the engine while the generator the pump will get the infected spawning in and they will try to locate the pump and shut it off so this is where having the initial gun and the ammo really helps because you have to defend the pump if they get close to it they'll shut it off and the pumping stop so you need to clear them out watch out and wait for the pump to empty the basement go in go loot get the ammo safe and you'll get plenty of ammo along with some cash and some other items pat yourself on the back and take a breather the next thing we're going to look at is building. You do need to craft a wooden hammer and follow the instructions of how to place down the sections. And then you realize you need resources such as wood planks to build those up because you just get the outline otherwise. And to get those planks, you need a saw because you need to saw the blocks. And that one can be a bit hard to get because it doesn't look like you can buy it. I was looking around I just couldn't find it and then I was finally informed that it does actually randomly spawn in the garages of the different buildings in the tool and equipment benches. That's just where you got the wrench for instance. But there's also one available at the hardware store and it will always spawn there. And the hardware store is available at the south end of the town just down the road. In my case, I actually had an infested hive spawning there, which made it a bit hard to get in. So I left the area and came back. But once I got it, went to the hardware store, looted it, and I found this saw. Now, coming back to the base, you then chop down the logs, saw them up into wooden planks, and then you add resources to the outline that you have placed down, and you will build it up chop more logs and then keep fleshing out your house with the flooring, the walls, the roof. You might also want to make sure that you place down a water barrel if you found any to collect water during the rains. Put in a campfire and to make a campfire you need stones that are on the road just north of the settlement and maybe a small sleeping bag because that gives you a respawn point as well as being able to sleep the night away. For an added bonus, if you go to the 7-Eleven and the residents are on top of it, there's actually a hobo cooking stove, which makes water and food production so much easier. Just go interact with the stove, well bring it back, and then when you place it down, you interact with the stove and well, all the campfire, and it'll tell you what to do in order to light it up. You need to start the fire, you need kindling, which you craft, you need those logs, and you need a lighter. So that should be pretty straightforward, and once you have that, you can then add extra things like a metal bucket and things in order to fry things up and boil the water and well where do you get the meat well actually that's not too easy either there are a lot of rabbits out there i noticed and even though i did not have a lot of luck shooting them with my arrows well i went hunting with my pistol one shot one rabbit strip it grab it all the pelts are actually really good for selling they gave a lot of money which will net you some good cash that you can then use at the traders to buy something else i would definitely recommend a bigger backpack because having a bigger backpack allows you to carry more load which is easier when you're out and about and looting now what about doors for the building well no, apparently not yet. Building is still basic, it's functional, but doors are in a future update. But at least you have your own little cozy house now. One really annoying thing that happened to me as I was exploring, which was in the hardware store, was that I accidentally jumped and got stuck inside a shelf, and I was unable to move. However, the devs have thought about that. So if you use hold down shift and tap forward slash, it will open the admin manage options, which includes unstocking yourself. As an added bonus, there's a ghost mode, there's a god mode, there's a free camera mode, and you believe you can teleport, and you even have unlimited building is available there, which can actually be really useful if you want to do some more creative stuff in the world to just try things out. And there are a lot of things to do. Now, the game is just out. It's still early on, but there's horse riding. There are vehicles to fix up and drive. There are better weapons. There's even scuba diving. 
sharks. So it's an active development and works for solo players. There's some basic co-ops and with these tips that I provided in this video, hopefully you should be able to get a solid start. So enjoy your stay in Jaws of Extinction. Try not to get extinct yourself. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.